ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಜಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಗುಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾತ್ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯ ವಿಧೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀತ್ಯಂಗರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ಬಿಶ್ವನಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇ ಮಾಕ್ಷಭಿರ್ಚತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈಸ್ತುಷ್ಟು ವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಯಿಂದ್ರ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌಡಪಾದ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯೇಭ್ಯ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶುಪ್ರತೈ ಸ್ಥಿರಜರ ನಿಕರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ತವಿಷ್ಟಾನ್ ಪುನರಿ ದಿಶನೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಪತಿ ಮಧುರಭಂಗಾಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ನ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯಂ ಪರಮೃತಮಜಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಯತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ತ್ವಯೋರ್ ದ್ವಯೋರ್ ಮಧು ಜ್ಞಾನೆ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯಾಮುದರೆ ಚೈವ ಪ್ರತಾಕಾಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮನೋರನ್ಯತ್ವ ಅಭೇದೇನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ಯತೆ ನಾನಾತ್ವ ನಿಂತ್ಯತೆ ಯಚ್ಚ ತದೇವಂ ಹಿತ ಮಂಜಸ ತ್ವಯೋರ್ ದ್ವಯೋರ್ ಮಧು ಜ್ಞಾನೆ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯಾಂ ಉದರೆ ಚ ಆಕಾಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ತಥಾ ದ್ವಯೋ ಮಧು ಜ್ಞಾನೆ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಿತ ಇಂದಿ ವ್ಯಷ್ಟಿ ಎನ್ ಸಮಷ್ಟಿ ದಿ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯಾಕಾಶ ಅಂಡ್ ಉದರಾಕಾಶ ಆರ್ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಅಂಡ್ ಘಟಾಕಾಶ the same akasha in dwells similarly in those dwells as in the madhu spoken about the jivas are madhu for prithvi and prithvi is madhu for the jivatmas like that many interdependent things were spoken about and for all of them the param brahma eva karanam so the dualities of yashti and samashti are both dependent on the sadvastu which is brahma so in bharadarnika it was clearly shown so the jeeva brahma aikyam is revealed in the form of the brahman being non separate from not only the jeeva but everything other than jeeva that is here so unless things which are objectified and the objectifier are together addressed unless that is addressed comprehensively the advaita siddhi is not possible that is why we say 
just an enquiry of who am I or what is this Pratyagatma is in it itself not adequate to give the Brahma Jnana because it leaves out what is the non-I. If all your effort is only towards finding out what is I, a huge portion which is actually the non-I is left out. The I is actually a very insignificant aspect of all that you count. You count a zillion things in your perception of the world which includes sun, moon, earth, mountains, planets, galaxies and all the living organisms including bacteria, amoebas, viruses. So it is mind-boggling number of creatures and entities that comprise of your non-I. And without resolving this non-I, Advaita Siddhi is not possible. So just trying to understand who am I, who am I doesn't give you the jnana. So it only eliminates that I am this body, I am this mind notion, but doesn't give you the samyajnana which has to take into account all that you objectify. Therefore, when the Shastra talks about the Brahma, it talks about the Brahma being cause of both the Vyakti, the Vyashti and the Samashti. So when Mandukya Upanishad spoke about, when it revealed that the Prajna, the Vishwa, the Taijasa, it also spoke at the same breath about Hiranyagarbha, about Ishwara and the Virat. The Virat and the Vishwa, the Hiranyagarbha and Taijasa, the Ishwara and Prajna, they have to be all seen together because the Vyashti and Samashti are always perceived together. You don't perceive a Vyashti in the absence of Samashti and you don't perceive a Samashti in the absence of Vyashti. And Vyashti Samashti Jnanam always happens together. So if there is Paraspara Tashraya, therefore, since this ashraya is there between the two. It invariably leads to a situation where the karana for both of them, upakaraka, upakarya, was to, this for both of them, the cause, the karana is something else. And that something else is the satta, which is Brahma. That's why dvayor dvayoho param brahma eva karyatvena karanatvena prakashitam. Yata prativyam udarecha akashasya karanatvam prakashitam. Prakashita. Akashaha. Pratibhya mudre jeva karanatvena prakashita haita tata eva brahma toyoho doyoho karanatvena madhukyane prakashita. This is very important to understand. That is why the Shastra Drishtya, the Aparam Brahma, which is Saguna Brahma, has to be spoken about. The Saguna Brahman is nothing but the Samashti. Without talking about Saguna Brahma, it is not possible to reveal 
the fact that vishti and samashti are together unreal and brahman alone is real so the samashti which is ishara or saguna brahman has to be spoken about and the aikya of both of them in the cause of them which is the brahman through the cause being non separate the the effect being non separate from the cause karyam karanena ananyat or karana dhananyat iti you have to show that the cause indwells the effect in fact the effect is nothing but the cause itself that revelation only gives you the jnanam that sarvam brahmaiva that is why the ishvara has to be spoken about the jagat karanatvam of brahma has to be spoken about because all you start with is only the jagat so you are starting premise where you are all starting we are all starting from is with the perception of the world we are not standing in isolation and suddenly shastra is introducing something called the jagat we know there is a jagat that we are perceiving therefore there is a starting point so the the jagat being a karya and ishara as the srishtikarta and the karya jagat ishwaratmana is pervaded has to be brought out for you to understand that all that is here is pervaded by brahma by recognizing that if there were a ishwara who pervades this earth and the universe and all that you perceive here what can that ishwara be that is why this whole prakriya whether it is saguna nirguna ishwara prakriya ara srishti prakriya ara avastha treya prakriya all this prakriya is in a sense karya karana prakriya only and the karanatvam being in the brahman has to be recognized and the karya karyam being mithya there is no real karya karanatvam therefore it is only vivarta karanam by its presence there is a karya okay and there is actually no karya therefore shayanah jagat vivarti just lying down that brahman is as though creating the jagat so we represent that brahman as ananta shayana padmanabh so from that padmanabh the whole srishti which is a mithya bhuta srishti is created and the ishwara or bara brahma doesn't actively participate in any srishti because it's only an as though srishti with the maya srishti so ishwara is just lying down or he is standing with his hands in the hip like panduranga so there is no cause because the cause is only as though because the karya is as though there is no true creation so only when that is recognized the nirvikalpa nirvishesha brahma gnana takes place and this is not understood by most of the dvaitins not most most all of the dvaitins vishishta dvaitins they all think when we say nirguna niravayava nirakara brahma they immediately start thinking that it is an objectified nirguna nirakara swarupa that's how they think so i think in one of the classes i was talking about it one in one uh, one that is conversation is talking as though that nirakara nirguna means it's a non existent and non existent mean it's a bauddhavada like a shunya because he says that advaitins this mayavadi says that there is a nirguna but it exists 
and that is nirguna means how can it exist it's like just cheating people by saying that it exists but it is nirguna means they are technically saying it doesn't exist so they are dismissing krishna because even though the shastras bhagavata etc are talking about krishna as the param brahma this mayavadis are just a distortionist who are like the bauddhas shunyavadis who have come to distort what has been given by bhagavan the problem is they think nirakara means some objectified formless when we say nirakara nirguna swarupa that means what is not objectifiable anything which is objectified has to have a guna we all understand that everybody understands anything objectified if you say objectified the objectification is only in the form of guna some guna has to be there then only you can objectify at least there should be a shabda guna otherwise how can you say something exists to say something exists in an objectified things it needs to have something for which you are able to recognize the moment you say you are able to recognize it that means there is some guna right otherwise how can you recognize it therefore anything which is recognizable in the this cognition has to have a guna the only thing which can be a nirguna is your own swarupa because that is swatas siddha swayam prakashate it doesn't need anything to reveal itself it's a swaprakasha vastu and all that is objectified can be objectified only by the swatas siddha vastu in fact that which seems to be objectified its existence is lent or rendered by your own swarupa but it doesn't need it doesn't need any guna for it to be revealed because it's self revealing your own self why does it need a guna to reveal itself and all the gunas are revealed to it therefore the gunas are cannot be that and the gunas are dependent on it therefore they are non separate from it you can never see a guna without the satta which comes from your swarupa therefore there is an invariable presence of your swarupa in any perception therefore saguna vastus need your swarupa for the guna to be perceived whereas in nirguna swarupa is swata siddha therefore it is non objectified that is what they don't understand the dvaitis think nirguna nirakara means they are looking for some objectified thing which is nirguna nirakara how can you objectify something which is nirguna nirakara they think they are made a big statement and he is very proudly making that statement and he has like hundreds and millions of views i don't understand this first of all you have to understand what is being told in the other paksha then only you can contest it get the facts right you don't make a conclusion about what they are saying and then talk about it okay so that is the problem anyway uh, the reason i went into that is because this swarupa siddhi can only happen if the fact of the srishta jagat which is in the form of the two things right the vyakti and samashti that is where in even bhagavad gita at two three places bhagavan talks about in this so in uh, seventh or sixth chapter he is going to that the two prakritis he talks about okay para prakriti apara prakriti and the apara prakriti he talks about all the panchabhutas and all that and para prakriti is talking about the individual pratigatma or jeeva bhuta and these both these prakritis are ishwara's prakriti and so it, the ishwara which is the brahma swarupa is beyond these two similarly in 13th chapter also he talks about kshetram kshetragnya and ishwara is the gnanam which lends itself to both kshetra and kshetragnya kshetra kshetragnya or gnanam yat tat gnanam 
matam mama iti again there also this yashti samashti together is what is the karna karya and the karana is brahma is spoken about therefore this that is the revelation can happen only when both are accounted for it's very important to understand that so even the next verses are only along this line jeevatmanoho ananyatvam abhedena prashasyate nanatvam nindyate yacha tadevam hi samanjasam jeevatmanoho ananyatvam what is this jeevatmanoho means there are two jeevatmas or jiva and atma what is it jeevatmanoho means jeevatma and paramatma so he uses this phrase he could have said jeeva parayoho okay but he uses jeevatmanoho so the jeevatma and paramatma they are same ananyatvam not that they become to one okay this aikya means is not like uh they say right what is that called that uh the becoming one um, what is that i forgot the phrase for it. anyway so sarupyam all these things so sayujyam is what they say sayujyam means becoming one correct that's the word right sayujyam sarupyam samipyam all these they talk about that means you are separate earlier afterwards you become one you go and embrace it's not that way aikyam means what there is no difference they are both the ಜೀವಾತ್ಮನೋ ಅನನ್ಯತ್ವಂ ಅಭೇದೇನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ಯತೆ ಶ್ರುತಿಯ ಬೈ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಅಭೇದವಾಕ್ಯನ ದಿ ನಾನ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಅಭೇದ ದೇ ಬೀಂಗ್ ನಾನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಪರಬಲ್ ಆಟಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ಸಬರಬಲ್ಯ ನಾನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಅಭೇದೇನ ಅಭೇದ ವಾಕ್ಯನ ಶುತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ಯತೆ ದ ಶುತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಅಭೇದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವೇದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಭವತಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಭೇದೇನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವೇದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಭವತಿ ಮುಂಡಗೋಪನಿಷತ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿದ ಆಪ್ನೋತಿ ಪರಂ ದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿದ್ ಆಪ್ನೋತಿ ಪರಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ತಸ್ಮಾದ್ ವಾ ಏತಸ್ಮಾದ್ ಆತ್ಮನ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಭೇದ so here very explicitly brahmaveda brahmaiva bhavati iti prashasyate is abeda vakyas glorify glorify means what it that it is it is emphasizing that that is the reality nanatvam nindyate the duality is being done ninda of the idea is not to say hey you are seeing dual you are useless guy that's not the point the viveksha is that is not real so tika kara very interestingly talks about it we can see the tika quickly itascha ekatve shrutinam tatparyam ekatve eva shrutinam tatparyam iti ah the shruti tatparya is about non duality why suddenly this shruti tatparya nischaya is being done here because even though yuktitaha through logic only this whole prakarana is picked up advaita prakaranam is to use yukti to show that jiva brahmaiva and by giving examples example of ಘಟಾಕಾಶ ಮಹಾಕಾಶ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಹೇತು ಲೈಕ್ ಆಕಾಶ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ 
you know, nirguna and all these things, niravayava, therefore, it is so and so. This is what was given, right? Hetu drishtanta is the logic. Okay, the hetu drishtantena, how it was started. From there, the question that came was, the, it is easy to say, Gatakasha and Mahakasha are same. But how do you explain the Gata, the part? So the Upadi, which is Karyagarana Sanghata or Avidya Upadi, Avidya Upadi we have to arrive at, correct? So the initial recognition is what about all these things which are actually separating it? So you will look at only Karyagarana Sanghata. Okay. Why I am saying Avidya has to be arrived at? Because Avidya is not accepted. Anyone who comes to this Vedanta, first day you can't say you are having Avidya. He will say, what Avidya? So you, you, he will say, you are already concluding that all that is here is Brahman only. And because I don't know, then you are saying Avidya. And that Avidya as an Upadi, how can it create this world? Okay, That will be his question. His or her question. Therefore, we don't start with that. So, if you just look at the Karyagarana Sangata as the one which is limiting, and this whole world also is limiting, right? The perceived world is also limiting your thought that everything is non dual. The limiting factor is not just your body mind, but also the world which is there. That also, Krishti Samashti together only is limiting it. So, therefore, this. Uh, after giving the yukti of Katagasha Mahakasha, the thing about what happens to the Gata, which is limiting, or the Jiva Jagat Veda, which is there through the Karyagarana Sangata, Dehadi Sangata, and the world which is outside, what is the reality of it? Even with the Jiva Brahma, Aikya, there is no explanation for the perceived world. So for that, the Shruti only has to be brought up, brought out. Then only you can give an augmenting logic as to how the perceived Jagat is non-separate from Surupa. But the base is only Pramana. That's where now you understand the Shruti Pramana is very important to give the connection because it's a vision. The Vedantic Jnana this moksha jnana is a vision that is revealed by veda it's a drishti sastra drishti it is a way to look at it and that vision is what liberates you and in order because by doing who am i who am i you can't arrive at that vision that is a problem see that is a big problem even though there was somebody who had a jnana, but because he left a kind of following which believes that just doing a who am I, who am I, I will gain jnana. The problem is there is a huge set of people who have shraddha, who believe in somebody who gained this, but they skip the shastra. Skipping the Shastra and just doing a who am I, who am I, it's not possible so to gain this Jnanam because there is no way for you to account for the objectified world. So accounting for objectified world, you need Shruti Pramana and after Shruti Pramana, you gain this vision, then it's not a belief. Okay, Again, the problem when we say only Shruti Pramana is needed, it doesn't mean that you have to believe that the world is nothing but Brahman. No, 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 no. That's not the point. The vision through this Shutivakya Shravana is unfolded. Then you can cognize that reality. The Shuti unfolds the vision and you cognize the reality. Then Jnanam takes place. So, Shuti Pramanaika Gamyam. Nothing against a person. We are only discussing the jnanam, how it takes place. Okay. We are not discussing people here or jnanis here or any sampradayas here. 
just understand recognize what it's only to make all of us understand what is this jnanam how does it take place otherwise this you will also have the same problem of you know you'll get caught in the, into this web of trying to find out who am i who am i okay and when the moment you start searching for who am i you are already lost because your swarupa is lost in the seeker the person who is searching you understand therefore how does this jnanam take place only through shravana because at that time you have already suspended yourself you are just right now available for the shastra to unfold its vision you just listen to shastra just suspending all your notions okay and all your emotional clingings because this is a big problem all of us have we all have emotional clingings okay we have already committed ourselves to a certain guru or whatever i used to have the same problem no, i am not not any different okay everybody goes through several stages in evolution and then we get caught in the web of emotional clinging so you go and talk to a dwaiti or anybody is gonna the problem is the openness won't be there because there is already a emotional clinging that i i have to be honest to this particular person because i am committed to it even an atheist is committed to an idea because he declares that i am an atheist okay even agnostic is committed he says i i am an agnostic that is his position it's he's not a seeker okay if he is a seeker then he won't declare himself to be an agnostic he is a seeker okay until i recognize realize what it is i will seek it's a different position but if i say i am an agnostic that means i have already concluded and i want to remain an agnostic so i am not open to a search therefore uh, why are we into this now Suti Tatparya is very important. That's where I was saying. Itascha yekatve shuti nam tatparyam jivatmano abedena brahma veda brahma iva bhavati ityadina brahma bhava palavada padena brahma bhava palavadena ityattaha yat prasasyate tad vidheyam ityadi nyayat yekatva darshane palavada utpatti yekatva darshane palavada utpatti ಉಪಲಂಬಾತ್ ಏಕತ್ವ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತತ್ವಾತ್ ವಿವಕ್ಷಿತ ಯಾ ಸೊ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಎಮೋಷನಲ್ ಕ್ಲಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅನ್ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಯು ಇಂಟರ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ okay about what is being told see this is very important you to rec- understand why how does shastra work and why doesn't it work okay for some some people it doesn't work for some people they will come to class they will sit in the class listen but as they listen in everything being said there is always your mind which comes and interferes you try to make judgment of what is being said so that you have to change it to a listening with openness because it is shruti vakya that is why shraddha is important shraddha van labhate gnanam unless that shraddha shraddha means you have to, your mind should just let the shastra work that is shraddha so don't make the shastra reinforce your beliefs so in your mind you have certain conclusions if whatever you are hearing from the guru it goes along with your own conclusions then you think oh he is correct if it goes against what you have thought then you conclude oh here he is wrong so if that is how your mind works then what is the point in sitting in the class you will be only as wise as you were before the class correct because you are only reinforcing what for you is correct 
and what for you is wrong. So that kind of a thing will not help you. Okay, so you have to let the shastra unfold, especially in these areas like the srishti prakriya and all that, because there initially the shraddha is important until until you gain the vision. You have to let it work. Don't let your emotions and clingings come in the way. Therefore, Shruti Vakya has to be just <clears throat> let to operate. So, the Tatparya, what is the Tatparya of Shruti? Here he says, Yat Prashasyate Tat Videyam Ityadi Nyayat. Ekatva Darshane Palavada Utpati Upalambat Ekatvam Prasastatvat Vivakshitamiti Bhava. Whatever is being praised, that is to be understood as the intent of the Shastra. If Ekatvam is glorified, that means Ekatvam being the reality is emphasized. Yacha Anekatvam Sarvaprani Sadharanam. The common recognition is duality. And the common recognition being duality, duality has a apurvata, it doesn't have an apurvata. What is this apurvata? The Shruti being an independent means of knowledge, it needs to have a certain qualities. What are they? It should have an apurvata. It should say something which is not already known to you. That is number one. Then it has to be abadita. What it reveals cannot be negated by other means of knowledge. And it should have palavatvam. It should be beneficial to you. Then only shuti vakya. That is the importance for you to understand what the is a way to understand the meaning of Shruti Vakya because it needs, it needs to have the Apurvata, it needs to have a Anandigatattvam, it needs to have a Palavatvam and it, need, it has to have a Arthabodakattvam. It needs to give something useful. I mean, uh, Artha, a meaning. It can't say a Katapakakakang like that. Okay? If it says, then you should try and understand what it means. Okay? Therefore, in Tan nishidhyate iti nyayate nanatvam shastrartaha nabhavati. So the nanatvam nindyate, it is being criticized, means that is not the tatparya. Tadu bayam yekatva prasamsanam nanatva nindanam cha yekatva meva shastriyam iti abhivagame sati yuktam. Hiti palita maha tadevam. Therefore, the verse Jeevatmanoho Anandyatvam Abhedena Prashasyate. The Abheda Vakyas are glorifying the Jeevatma Yakatvam by glorifying the Ananyatvam. By, by glorifying the Ananyatvam, it is implying that Jeevatma, Jeevai Paratma are one and the same. Nanatvam Nindyate Acha Tadevam Hi Samanjadam. It is what is apt is only Jeevatmananyatvam because not only Abheda is being glorified, Nanatvam Nindyate Cha. The duality is put down. Okay. Therefore, Shloka Aksharani Vyachaste. So then he is connecting to the Bhashya. Yad Yuktitaha Shrutitascha Nirdharitam. Jeevasya parasya cha atmanaha ananyatvam abhedena prasasyate stuyate shastrena vyasadi bischa yuktitaha shrutitaha nirdharitam. What has been in this prakarana, advaita prakarana, established through the yukti, which is what? Hetu drishtanta is the yukti. Hetu drishtantena and shrutitaha. What are the Shrutis? The one, Anna Rasamaya, that Shruti of Taitriya Upanishad, 
అంటే ద్వయోర్ ద్వయోర్ మధు జ్ఞానే ద బృహదారణ్యక శృతి బై దెమ్ వాట్ హాస్ బీన్ నిర్ధారితం వాట్ హాస్ సో ఫార్ బీన్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ జీవస్య పరస్య చ ఆత్మన అనన్యత్వం ద నాన్ డ్యూన్ డ్యువాలిటీ ఆర్ నాన్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ద జీవాత్మ అండ్ పరాత్మ జీవాత్మనో భాష్యగా రాసి జీవస్య పరస్య చ ఆత్మన అనన్యత్వం అభేదేన ప్రశస్యతే స్తూయతే బై ద నాన్ డ్యువాలిటీ ద నాన్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ దమ్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ స్తూయతే ఇట్ ఇస్ గ్లోరిఫైడ్ బై హూ శాస్త్రేణ బై ద వేదవాక్యాస్ అండ్ వ్యాసాది విశ్చ అండ్ వ్యాస వ్యాస పరాశరాం పరాశరాది స్వన్ వ్యాసాది యాడ్స్ వ్యాస పరాశరాది వేదార్థం వ్యాచక్ష వ్యాచక్ష వ్యాచక్షణై ఏకత్వం స్తూయతే అండ్ హీ కోట్స్ టీకా గల కోట్స్ వేర్ ఇస్ వ్యాస టాకింగ్ శాస్త్ర భాష్యగర్ హైమ్సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు కోట్ బట్ హియర్ వ్యాసాది బిశ్చ ఇస్ దేర్ దర్ ఫోర్ టీకా గర కోట్స్ వాసుదేవ సర్వమితి సమహాత్మ సుదుర్లభ సో ద వాసుదేవ మీన్స్ దట్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఆన్ ఇన్ విచ్ ఆల్ ద లివింగ్ బీయింగ్స్ డ్వెల్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ బ్రహ్మవస్తు అండ్ దట్ బ్రహ్మవస్తు సర్వమితి సమహాత్మ సుదుర్లభ ద వన్ హూ రికగ్నైజెస్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద బ్రహ్మ విచ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దట్ ఈస్ హియర్ దట్ పర్సన్ ఈస్ సుదుర్లభ అండ్ అదర్ విష్ణు పురాణం ఆల్సో ఈ కోడ్స్ అహం హరి సర్వమిదం జనార్దన నాణ్యత్ తత కారణ కార్యజాతం నాణ్యత్ విత్ దట్ యూ టు కన్క్లూడ్ ఫస్ట్ సెంటెన్స్ తత కారణ కార్యజాతం తత కారణాత్ కార్యం జాతం ఫ్రమ్ హూ అహం హరి అయం హరి విష్ణు పురాణ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ ద హరి సర్వమిదం హరి ఏవ ఆల్ దట్ ఈస్ హియర్ ఇస్ దిస్ హరి విచ్ ఇస్ బ్రహ్మ He is Janardhanah, the one who, in whom all the Janah, all the, everything that is here are being manifested and they are active because of who? Harihi. Nanyatu, there is nothing other than me. Tataha, Karanat, Karyam, Jatam. All that is here is as though born out of that Karanam, which is Hari, which is Brahma. Nityadi Vakyehi. so that the vyasaadi vischa shastrena cha stuyate glorified because samahatma durusudurlabaha means glorification the one who sees that kind of reality sees not just who says just verbally saying oh all that is here is god saying that is not what it is the one who has the vision వాసుదేవ సర్వమితి యస్య మహాత్మన దృష్టి వర్తతే సమహాత్మ సుదుర్లభ ఏవైతి దర్ ఫోర్ ద వన్ ఫార్ హూమ్ దట్ దృష్టి ఈస్ దేర్ ఈస్ ఈజ్ అ మహాత్మ అండ్ దట్ పర్సన్ ఈస్ వెరీ ర్యార్ నాట్ ఎవ్రీబడి గెట్స్ దిస్ ఎతతామీ సిద్ధానాం కశ్చిన్ మాం వేత్తి తత్వత భగవాన్ సేస్ ద వన్ హూ గెయిన్స్ మీ ఈజ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ అండ్ మెనీ lacks it is only one therefore it is a glorification here aham hari sarvamidam janardana nanyat tata karana karya jatam here there is no glorification it just a statement but in the previous one sudurlabah is a glorification <coughs> therefore sarva prani sadharanam swabhavikam shastra bahihi bahir mukaihi కుతార్కికై విరచితం నానాత్వ దర్శనం నిందతే దట్ నింద ఇస్ డన్ ఫార్ నానాత్వ దర్శనం నాట్ నానాత్వం సి భాషికర మేక్స్ ఇట్ అస్ అనాత్వ దర్శనం నానాత్వం నిందతే ఈస్ వాట్ ది కారిక ఈస్ బట్ భాషికర సేస్ నాన బహి సర్వ ప్రాణి సాధారణం స్వాభావికం శాస్త్ర బహిర్ముఖై కుతార్కికై విరచితం నానాత్వ దర్శనం సో హీ సేస్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఇంటర్ప్రిటేషన్ ద రీజన్ ఇస్ హీ ఇస్ టెక్నికలీ సేయింగ్ ద శాస్త్ర ఇస్ నాట్ సేయింగ్ ఎనీ నానాత్వం ఓకే ది నానాత్వం ద వాట్ హీ మీన్స్ ఇయర్ ఇస్ 
the ananyatvam is what is said by shastra okay so he says the ananya vakyas are stuyate that he just accepts as it is now the ninyate ninyate nanatvam ananyatva ananyatvam prashasyate shastrena eva but this nanatvam there is he doesn't accept that there is a nanatva drishti from shastra he says shastra bahirmukaihi kutarkikaihi virachitam nanatva darshanam the interpretation of shastra vakya as a nanatva drishti by who by shastra bahirmukaihi kutarkikaihi people who want to twist the shastra statements and make it appear as though it is talking about nanatvam tat nindyate <laughs> so that is being you know put down by shastra okay so there is no it's not shastra gives a nanatva vakya and it is doing ninda of it it is people who try to interpret the shastra vakya as nana or create shastra a kind of smriti which is outside of shastra they are kutarkikaihi therefore it do shastra bahirmukaihi okay people who they claim it is shastra and do things which are outside shastra or who don't accept shastra both you have to take into account because the dvaita He is not spoken about only by Charvakar, you know, others who don't accept Shastruti. Even the Vishta Dvaitis, Dvaitis, all Dvaitis only, you know. Yeah, because, but they, they, they accept Shastra as a Pramana. And the duality is Sarva Prani Sadharana. Where is Apurvata? When a Dvaiti comes and says that all that is here different is dif- are different, ಜೀವಜೀವ ಭೇದ ಜೀವ ಜಗತ್ ಭೇದ ಜೀವೇಶ್ವರ ಭೇದ ಜೀಶ್ವರ ಜಗತ್ ಭೇದ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಮೈ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಕೌ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪೂರ್ವ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ಡಸ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಭಾಷಿಕರ ಅಸೆ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಸ್ವಾಭಾವಿಕಂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವೆರಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕೌ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಡಾಗ್ or another cow it doesn't think cow and itself is same so why should shruti come and say something like that there is no point there is no use it's a sarva there is no apurvata in it and it's a wasted sentence nishpala a pramana which is shruti it needs to have apurvata palavatvam anadigatatvam all this is not there in the statement it is adhigatam because everybody knows through every means of knowledge that i am different from a cow and it is there is no palavatvam there is no use of that statement that i am different from a cow okay there is no apurvata there is nothing new being said so why should it say nanatvam so shastra bahirmukaihi kutarkikaihi because these people believe in a certain thing and they frame a philosophy and according first of all they make a conclusion oh all the brahman is only a personal god who has hands and legs and chanka chakra gadadhari that is brahman the shruti say anywhere that the brahman looks like a man he has kirita kundala dhari and all that that is some pauranika somewhere in purana is written how can that become prabala to shruti Shruti has to take precedence even up more than Smriti. Smriti itself, like Mahabharata, Bhagavad Gita and all that, because Shruti, Anusari, it is there, it is like, it is just following Shruti, therefore it is Pramana. Therefore, Shruti only is Baliyasi. So now you can't say, where does Shruti say that it is like, looks like a person? Yeah, Shanka, Chakra, Gadha, he wears Pitambara, does it say anywhere then how can you take that uh, because you perceive only a human being as the one who can do powerful things that is your perception okay therefore it is 
outside of what is told by Shastra. You concluded that and then you write the theories around it. Okay. Then what, how do I fit Satyam, Jnana, Manandam, Brahma? You give some meaning for it. Then how do I fit Sadeva, Saumya, Idamakra, Arasid? You give some meaning. Then Tattva Masi, you have to say Tasyatva Masi, or Atattva Masi. Something you have to say. Because you have already made a conclusion this is what it is. Similarly, Nayayikas also, they have certain views about what is Atma. Then here and there, they can use some Shastra Vakyas. Okay, so that is not, that's why Bhashikara says, Shastra Bahir Mukaihi, Kutar Kikaihi Virajitam. And what is the use of that, those kind of interpretations? Will it give you moksha? By thinking that the Atma is Anubarina Parimana, and then Atma is so many Atma, then this uh, Prakriti is this way. What is the use? It's your conclusion, then you have the Nyaya. Samvaya Sambandha Vachinna Samyoga Nishta Karya Dhana Rubhida Karanata Tatkarya Vachinna Anavachinna. Like that it goes on and on some mental gymnastics. Therefore, Kutarki Kaihi, that kind of a tarka is of no use. It doesn't benefit anyone. You conclude, it's like scientist's conclusions only, right? What is the use? Whether you say Srishti was because of theory of evolution or it is energy is all it is. What, how do you, what do you gain by that knowledge? Yeah, I mean, whatever science is useful to create some, you know, air, aircrafts and, uh, you know, uh, washing machine, all this good, correct? Because it has some benefit. But these kind of theories, how does it help you? Does it liberate you? So the Moksha Shastra, it should have some purpose in making you free. Okay. This being a Moksha Shastra, you can't say Swabhavika Pravritti and all, it can't talk about it. Therefore, Kutarki Kehi Virajitam Nanatva Darshanam Nindyate Sutireva Natu Tadviti Yamasti. There is no duality. Why should Suti say you can ask? Because there is, first of all, there is a Sarva Prani Sadharana Drishti that there is a Dvitiyam. There is there are duality. So it has to come and say, no, it is not dual. So when it says, Nata Dvitiyam Asti, does it have a Purvata? That you didn't know it before? Yeah, it has a Purvata. Because unless Shastra comes and says there is no dual, you won't even start thinking that there is no dual. Advayam Brahma, when, see, why does Madhva come and say, Duality has to exist. Why does he say? Because someone before him said, Natadvitiya Masti is true. So he has to come and say that, Oh, no, 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 Dvitiya Masti ever. Because there is Drishti. For him, whatever Shankara said is what he is opposing. Not Shankara. That whole parampara, what it is saying, is what he is opposing. That's all. But if that was not there, he wouldn't have had made this statement. So, the Apurvata for Madhva is because of the Purva Drishti that has come from the Sampradaya, Advaita Sampradaya, correct? But for Suti to say that na tad tritiyamasti, the Apurvata is because if Suti doesn't say that, then people will take that Dvaita Meva Satyam. There is no way to for people to even start thinking or uh, even looking at things as Nadvidiyam. So Apurvata is there for the statement. Now, is Palavatvam there? Is it fruitful? Yes. How, what is the benefit of the statement? Once a person recognizes this fact, then samsara goes away. Because Dvaita, next statement. Then that is Vridhanika. Then Udara Mantaram Kurute Atatasya Bhayam Bhavati. That is Saitriya. So this is the Phalavatvam is there. Tadvitiyam Natu Tadvitiyam Asti as a Phalavatvam. There is an Arthabodhagatvam. Correct? All this there. Usefulness is there. Apurvata is there. Everything is there. So that is the best. That's the only way to interpret. Otherwise, all that will be lost. And Anadigadattvam is also there. 
by no other means can you know that there is advayam brahma okay by your any other means uh, your eyes or nose or even by just logic you can't know that that's why i say who am i cannot lead it to you because anadigatam abaditam it it is not negated by any means of knowledge once you gain this knowledge no other means of knowledge just because you see duality doesn't mean duality is real and that jnanam is never obstructed therefore these are all ninda natu tadvitiyam asti is ninda it's not there it's a revealing sentence there is also ninda bhayam bhavati why bhayam bhayam is what you are afraid you are afraid of i don't want fear therefore it's a ninda by doing a dvaitam you will have bhaya then udara mantra also it's the same thing idam sarvam medayam atma here there is no ninda here it is revealing statement okay then mrityo samrityu mapnoti yaiha nana iva pasyati that also is ninda again it's a bhayam only mrityu is all bhaya only samsara ityevam adivakye hi anyaischa brahma vidhihi ಎಚ್ಚೇತತೆ ತದೇವಂ ಹಿ ಸಮಂಜಸಂ ರಿಜು ಅವಬೋಧಂ ನ್ಯಾಯಂ ರಿಜು ಅವಬೋಧಂ ಸಮಂಜಸಂ ಭಾಷಿಕ ರಸೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಬಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಜು ಅವಬೋಧಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ಲಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟ್ವಿಸ್ಟ್ ದೆಮ್ so it is samanjasam it is the more most apt straight forward meaning yastu tarkika parikalpita kudrishtaya he is calling ta anrichya he is not calling he is just saying okay kudrishtaya people who are not seeing it in the right way tarkika parikalpita the tarkika nayayika vaisheshika all these people they just are having a convoluted understanding of it basically they have emotionally committed to one principle that like uh, our vishishta advaiti is all these people for them they think by in, by seeing the fact like this dismisses the supremeness of their favorite god mahavishnu or sri krishna this brahman when you say which is nirguna susuruba then ishwara becomes a little lesser because saguna ishwara all set and done is within srishti and srishti and the srishti only is ishwara therefore there is a temporariness in it if that is not satyam if the srishti is not satyam it is mithya if brahman only is satyam then this ishwara gets a stature which is less than the brahman because it is subjective that is not acceptable for people who are emotionally committed to that particular form of worship no not that we are not against vishnu or shiva or subramanya nothing we are just trying to see what is the fact now there is an emotional commitment then to keep the supremacy intact therefore you have to twist so then it becomes difficult therefore asamanjasam it becomes it is not riju avabodham you get what i am therefore kudrishtaya is this taha anrujvyaha nirupyamanaha na ghatanam pranjanti iti abhiprayaha na riju anrujvyaha so it's not it's not easy because you have to then try and make things out of the statements the we will i think we took a lot of time in this again. so but it's important to understand let's see quickly start the next verse and then we can talk through it next session jivat manoha pratatvam yate pragutpatte prakirtitam 
ಭವಿಷ್ಯದ್ವಿತ್ಯ ಗೌಣಂತತೆ ಮುಖ್ಯತ್ವಂ ಹಿನ ಯುಜ್ಯತೆ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮನೋ ಪೃಥಕ್ತ್ವ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತೆ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಕೀರ್ತಿ ಶುತ್ಯ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದ್ವಿತ್ಯ ತತ್ ಗೌಣಮೇವ ಮುಖ್ಯತ್ವ ತಾಂ ನಯುಜ್ಯತೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಅಭೇದ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನಾನಾತ್ವ ನಾನಾತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಪರ್ಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸೋ ವಿತ್ ದ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ನಾನಾತ್ವ ಜಗತ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಹಿ ಕೋಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸದಾಧಾರ ಪ್ರತಿವೀಂ ದ್ಯಾಮ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಶ್ರುತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭ ಸಮಾವರ್ತತಾಗ್ರೇ ಭೂತ ಜಾತಪತಿರೇಕ ಆಸೀತ್ ಸದಾ ಆಧಾರ ಪ್ರತಿವೀಂ ದ್ಯಾ ಮುತೆ ಮಾಂ ಕಸ್ಮೈ ದೇವಾಯ ಹಿಷಾ ವಿಧೇಮ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭ ಅಗ್ರೆ ಸಮವರ್ತತ ದ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗರ್ಭ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಭೂತ ಜಾತಪತಿರೇಕ ಆಸೀತ್ ಜಾತ ಜಾತ ಭೂತ ಪತಿ he is the one who is the pati pashupati ekah there is there was one god and there is one god like in the other christianity and all ekah asit sada aadhara prithivi prithivim dyam that god hiranyagarbha holds the world okay imam kasmai devaya havisha avidhema imam prithivim daadhara this prithivi that you are seeing here is being held by that hiranyagarbha and these are f- stated as fact in karmakanda so there is a separate hiranyagarbha there is a prithivi he holds that prithivi and then there are jeevatmas in it all that is spoken so it's not that in karmakanda only like jeevas are spoken about ishwara also is spoken about as separate now in uh, upanishad you are saying the srishti prakriya is you interpret as though because there is a prakriya it is non dual the same ishwara only is this uh, in this form of jagat but if that is the case in karma kanda how come they are separately spoken and lot of karmas are also given so is your interpretation that all that is here is brahma is correct or my interpretation which is ratified by karma kanda where the ishwara is spoken jagat is spoken jeeva sar spoken so jeeva is different from jagat jagat is different from jeeva and ishwara is different from both jeeva and jagat then only he can hold the earth like uh, matsya gurmadi avatara and also purana sar say that in uh, kurma avatara and uh, varaha avatara varaga avatara the bhagavan comes and holds for the whole earth ಹಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ಭ ಸಮವರ್ತತ ಅಗ್ರೆ ಸ ದಾದಾರ ಪೃಥಿವೀಂ ದ ಹಿ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಧರ ಹಿ ಧಾರಯತಿ ಪೃಥಿವೀಂ ಹಿ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೂರ್ಮವರ ಆದಿ ಅವತಾರ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ವೇದ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯುವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇನ್ ವೇದ ದರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಓ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ this thing karika answers that we we'll see om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hi hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om dhanyavada guruji dhanyavada priya